right? Like people are slaving themselves away to pay off the debts that they that they've collected. Hey fuckers, Young right here. Long time no see. Let's get to the topic today. And today I want to talk about something that I, I've touched up upon a couple times in my videos, but I never really got into detail of what I'm talking about and as to why you should approach, I guess, your life in this way while you're in the military or after the military. More specifically, after the military. For those of you who don't want to stay in the military, I think this is the route that you should go just because this is the, the political climate uh, that's going on in the world right now and BS uh, financial stuff that's been going on, right? And economic um, situation that we're in or whatever, right? And even if you think that you're gonna stay in the military forever, like let's say you haven't even joined, right? Let's say you're just a, you're just a pulley. This may help you all as well because once you understand the reality of the military, you may not like it, right? You want to get out. You can approach it this way too. So this is just information that you guys can carry along with you just in case you need it, right? You can always refer back to this video. And what I want to touch up, up upon is the GI Bill, right? The GI Bill for school, right? The reason why I mentioned this and how important it is is because how hard it is to make it out here how hard it is to make it out in this world right without the military without your anybody's help right maybe you might receive some sort of help from your parents your family your friends you know financially emotionally whatever right but at the end of the day you really have to go out there and take responsibility of everything right your bills um your kids or family whatever right your your pets you know yourself right rent all that stuff. So the reason why I mentioned GI Bill is because you can use that to go to a public college, right? I just want to make you guys aware of how much students suffer. You know, they students that are ages between like the 18, even up to you know 30 year olds, 40 year olds, maybe, maybe people who end up going to college later on in life. You know, you never know. They want to move up in their job. You know, you need a college degree to move up. Doesn't matter what anybody says. You need the college degree to move up. Right? I'm promoting this because. I think there's a culture in the military where I look down at school, they don't like it that you go to school, right? They think it's stupid, it's full of liberal kids, blah, 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 blah. And they think you're just too much of, of, of a pussy to stay in the military, so you're going to school. Right? All these myths, right, that people like to mention when you mention that you're a student and whatever, or you're probably a liberal now because you go to school, this and that. I'm like, no, that's not the whole point. Who cares about the politics in, in, in school? Who cares? Your professor may force you to write an essay, think, you know, asking about what you thought of the video that you guys watched about gay marriage, right? Who gives a shit? Write about it. You know, write about some stupid BS the professor wants to hear, right? I don't, I, I personally don't care, you know, right? I'm not, I, I, like I said I, in my earlier videos, I stand on the right side, but if I need to go to college, I mean, if I'm gonna get to college, you gotta write about this bull crap, you know? And you can't even argue the professor on your paper respectfully saying why you, you disagree or agree with it because of your political views, blah, 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 your statistics, your research done, done by it, here's your pre-review articles, blah, 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 right? Here's the articles I found Google Scholar. You can argue it, okay? So it's not all that bad. And plus, if you look at the amount of debt that's been collected from student loans, right? And all the interest rates that people have to pay, it is terrible. People don't end up paying that off for a very, very long time. Right, you gotta pay taxes on everything, everything. It's it's free money that you get to have to go to school. You have such a big advantage over other people. So if you get that degree and you pursue um, something you love, right, and you have military experience, man, these employers will want the hell out of you. You have such a good resume compared to people your age, right? Because you have been through that military experience, you've been through that training, you you've gone to certifications from the Marine Corps, Navy. Army, Air Force, or whatever, right? Depending on the type of MOS that you have, you know, you put your profile on LinkedIn. You know, um, you talk about yourself, and these employers you see that's oh, dang, this guy, you know, done some deployments. He's actually used this, or he's he's actually he's been certified. He's actually been through military training. He's disciplined. He's committed, right? Uh, so don't look down um, upon all these things that people go through in school. Like I, I feel like. A lot of people look down on it really bad. Like you're you're, you're a pussy, you're a liberal, whatever, blah blah. blah. Uh, it's not worth it. Just go to tech school, which is okay, if that's what you want. Okay, but I'm talking about if you want to move up and like if you want to. Let's say for example, if you want to do contracting, right? Let's say you work for like a Department of Defense contractor, right? A lot of times they do want college educated people. Like let's say let's say you're an engineer, combat engineer in the Marine Corps, right? And you get an engineering degree. 
Um, I mean, this is my assumption. Um, I assume that you you have you will have some sort of engineering experience, right? Basics of engineering, right? The matter if the matter don't matter, you know what you did. You have a basic level of understanding of engineering, right? And you get an engineering engineering from a good uh, college, like a credit school that's good at teaching engineering, like Cal Poly Pomona. Um, and you worked in the military as an engineer, and you want to work for a DOD contractor, right? You, you will you might likely get the job or you might even likely get the internship right to gave you more experience right and lot a lot of these jobs like that there are DOD contractors you need a secret clearance like a security clearance and the Marine Corps paid that for you a lot of companies don't want to pay for it you know they say oh you don't have the clearance get out of my face you know you're not hired find a way to find the clearance first and then we'll hire you Unfortunately, that's how it works. You know, that's just how corporations work. You know, they don't want to spend money on things they don't feel like they have. They can spend money on. They, if you, if they feel like you can make the money right off the bat, they'll take you in an instant. Right. So it's not so bad. You know, going to college and all that. Another thing I want to uh, touch up on. I'll preach my experience living here. Okay. I mean, California is known to be one of the most expensive states in the country. Right. If not the most expensive, I don't know. But, you know, we have to pay taxes on gas, we have to pay taxes on a lot of things, right? We have to pay for every little thing that we do out here, right? Parking, um, sometimes even using a restroom, like you gotta buy something to use a restroom. Like, it, it's pretty rough in my opinion, like, especially being like in LA, Orange County area, you see a lot of homelessness. Uh, last time, where they cleaned up the Santa Ana River, they found like 14,000 needles that homeless were used for heroin to, to shoot up and to inject themselves with drugs and all that BS. You go to Skid Row, bunch of homeless people, and then they drop them off in Blythe and huh, for that city to take care of. And it's a mess, man. You can really see that people just wake up, smack down like 3, 4 a.m. in the morning, get in and work for like 16 hours plus every day uh, just to make a living out here just to survive like people are slaving themselves away to pay off the debts that they that they've collected but guess what you as veterans and um, military members you are you guys are getting the biggest debts away in your life by going to college don't waste it in my opinion if you don't go it's just throwing money down the drain that's just the way I see it you're just throwing it away you know as a reservist unfortunately you're gonna have to figure it out you know um, either apply for financial aid, Cal Grant, right? Basically, you know, just you gotta go. They'll check your parents and your income, um, and whatever, and see how much money you rate, right? And sometimes uh, the Marine Corps may provide you tuition assistance. Other branches may provide tuition assistance. I know Air Force, Navy. I think reservists still get to go to school for free, and on different program. The for the Marine Corps, it's only like four hundred dollars a month, right? And that's just considered BAH. But if you have four years experience. Right, as a duty, you get like BH on top of you know your tuition paid, um, and for for reserves, either you have to deploy to get like 70% of the GI Bill, or there's a lot of ways to get it, right? But I'm just saying, if you came from duty, you have a big big advantage over other people, right? You have so much more, I guess, time that you don't have to work while you're being full-time student. Um, and just focus on school and get good grades, get a good GPA, and do great things in your life. Make connections with professors, make connections with people in school, make connections with, with career uh, recruiters that go to school, that come from like DOD, the CIA, uh, DHS, uh, police departments, LAPD, LASD, all those top name agencies out there that want people like you to, to serve them, to, to benefit the company or to benefit the agency. And they don't have, they save them a lot of money because they don't have to spend so much money, like grand of dollars to give you a security clearance. And they're, like, they're gonna be like, oh, you have a security clearance? Oh, and you have a BA in engineering or criminal justice or blah, 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 blah. Oh, and you, you know, you don't owe money and all this stuff and you don't have bad credit. So your resume looks really good, right? And while you just watching the whole world slave themselves away to the system. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, I'm just saying they're, People are grinding the hell out of here. People are struggling to get rich here. I mean, it's hard. It's it's tough. It's like you people live paycheck to paycheck. That's not that's not a that's not a uncommon thing. P people living from paycheck to paycheck, living in like small small rooms with multiple people, um, homelessness and 
there's homeless students all the time there's homeless people all the time working jobs like that's how bad it is you know it, it it's it's rough out here so just appreciate what you guys got i'm just telling you from experience don't look down on it it's not stupid get that out of your head because it's kind of immature you need to grow up and, and unfortunately yes you can have a bachelor's degree but at the same time the new bachelor's is the is is the master's degree um and most people a lot of people are get, approaching the master's options um so, and sometimes the companies will pay for your master's degree i think that it's really important to have this mentality anyways if you haven't follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat give the video a thumbs up and remember if you get jiggy don't forget to write piggy thanks for watching Hoorah.